Do you know the stages of HIV infection? When do symptoms begin to manifest? The stages of HIV infection would include 1. Period of viral transmission 2. Primary HIV infection stage 3. The seroconversion stage 4. Clinical latent period 5. Early symptomatic infection and 6. AIDS or severe HIV infection The period of viral transmission is the period at which one gets infected for the first time. Some people develop symptoms like flu or nothing at all at the primary HIV infection stage. This period usually lasts about 1 to 4 weeks. But note, these symptoms alone is not classic for HIV. As the disease progresses to months, symptoms such as fever, body rash, sore throat, swollen gland, headache, stomach upset, joint pain, as well as muscle pain may arise. These symptoms are as a result of the fact that the body is fighting off an infection. It is the seroconversion period and can take few months to complete. The clinical latency stage or the asymptomatic stage occurs after the seroconversion stage is over. Most people start to feel better and the virus may become dormant for up to 10 or even 15 years depending on the age of the person and the health status. At this long latent period, the virus is active, infecting new cells and causing more immune system damage. The fourth stage is the symptomatic stage. At this HIV infection stage, the immune system has undergone lots of damage. As a result, one is expected to get serious infection like bacteria and fungal infections known as opportunistic infections. They are opportunistic as their name implies, taking over the weak immune system. Symptoms that occur at this stage would include the classic HIV symptoms which are 1. The mucocutaneous skin manifestations, weight loss, persistent chronic diarrhea, persistent cough, night sweats, fever, thrush, mouth ulcers, trouble swallowing due to esophageal candidiasis, recurrent infections, pneumonia, tuberculosis, sexually transmitted infections, fungi vagina infections, pelvic inflammatory disease, and even more serious illnesses. The last stage is the progression to AIDS, which is a more serious condition due to more severe immunosuppression that has occurred over time in the body of the affected person. At this advanced stage, it is best to get the right treatment. Early diagnosis and start of treatment is important for better health outcome.